Hello and welcome to Great Prime TV. Here we bring you scripture-based prayers. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. The time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Why is it the set time to favor her? Why? Because Zion have discovered a potent way to assess God. And what is that potent way? It is assessing God by his words. Is assessing God by his word. First John 4 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that once we ask him of anything according to his will, he heareth us. According to his will. And his will is the scriptures. We hear we pray scriptural prayers. The Bible also says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. What is his word? His word is that his will. So when we go to the scriptures, we get scriptures based on what we want God to do for us. We pray those scriptures here in this channel. We pray those scriptures and we see God doing wonders in our life. And we see God changing us. And we see God making us love him the more. And we see ourselves getting closer to God. Join us in this prayer and see answers to your prayers. And get answers to your prayer. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. We are taking a second prayer. If there is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. Lamentation chapter 4. Verse 1, it says, how is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on the top of every street. Gold, an ornament of value, suddenly has become dim. The stone, the precious stones of value, that's supposed to be meant for the sanctuary. It's not poured on every street. There are many people today, the enemy has attacked their value. Attacked their importance. Every power assigned to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power assigned to diminish my value. Only Esau had the venison. But Jacob went out brought what looked like the to diminish the value there are people who god gives you a business idea you run with it and these people start the same kind of business and become antagonistic of what you are selling just to diminish your value what gave you pride and gave you honor someone becomes a substitute an alternative to your value it's good for people to spread but not at the expense of other people it's good for people to expand, but not for someone else to be shortchanged. Every power assigned to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power assigned to diminish my value. Our gold has become dim. The gold changed. Stones in the sanctuary are poured out on every street. Every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you say my father my father my father my father shouting louder than that my father my father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as i begin to pray as i begin to pray every power assigned to diminish my value. To my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power aside. Every power aside. To diminish my value. To diminish my value. The blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus is against you. Is against you. My father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Every power. Every Power assigned, assigned to diminish my value. To diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against me. 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 Every power. Every power. Every power. Every power. Every power. Every power. Assigned. Assigned to diminish my value. To diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against me. The blood of Jesus is against me. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
every power that assigned to diminish your value i decree the blood of jesus is against them i decree today that your value is hereby enhanced in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. i decree you will stand out and miss your peers he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity therefore god even thy god has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows above thy fellows i decree in business above thy fellows marriage above thy fellows in the academia above thy fellows in your profession above your fellow in your career above your fellows in ministry above your fellows in the world of finances above your fellows in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. Amen. something will happen that will restore your honor something will happen in that office that will restore your dignity something will happen in that home that marriage that will restore your value that the very man that looked down on you suddenly affection has left his heart towards you by reason of what the holy spirit will do there's a restoration of affection and value in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. Amen. a family is about to sit concerning a marriage and this couple is expecting the family to some family members to be sent because of the dissolution of the marriage both of you love each other so much but there's a third party that doesn't want both of you to be together you are busy fighting yourself meanwhile there's a third party who is throwing diabolic uh, mechanism into the homes now both of you are thinking of going apart i cancel the agenda of the witchcraft agent there's that has been casted into this home i frustrate it i neutralize it i nullify it in the name of the lord jesus christ amen, amen. i decree your children's intelligence are restored to them your children's intelligence is hereby restored i decree the counsel of god upon your life the counsel of god upon your home the counsel of god upon your business the counsel of God upon your finances. Someone was born lame. I see someone that was born lame, never walked. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There have been softly financial losses. The Lord restore you. I don't know who is Ephraim. I'm seeing you very clearly. You are sitting down. Your hand is on the couch. You are praying. You are the only one left among your mother's children. They've killed everybody. You're the only one left and you're avoiding home but yet where you live located to the witchcraft attacks are so in it's so intense there i have this word for you Ephraim. the lord said to tell you that the killer whoever has been behind all of these extermination and extinctions today the lord god almighty take them out and you fulfill the destiny even of those those that they've killed god will add their destiny to your original destiny and you fulfill it in the name of the lord jesus christ amen, amen. it's a lady carrying an overdue pregnancy deliver like the hebrew women deliver 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 in the name of jesus christ amen, amen. someone by the name of walter the lord is showing me there's an expansion coming into your life an expansion coming into your life. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. If you are malade, put your left hand on that spot. Yeah, you are hurting, you have the problem. You have the symptoms, the problems. And stretch your hand towards me. Turn the other hand towards me. I come against infirmity. I come against the infirmity. I come against disease. I come against the maladies. I come against affliction. I come against the afflictions. I come against pain. I come against the douleurs. Bone disorder. The problem of the kidney problem. The problem of the brain. Stroke. The paralysis. Myopia. The problem of the eyes. Hypermetropia. The problem of the eyes. Cataract. The cataract. Glaucoma. The glaucoma. Come out in the name of Jesus. Sans le nom de Jésus. I speak healing to your body. La guérison dans votre corps. Be made whole. Soyez guéri. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. My time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. Time has come. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, Psalm 102, verse 13, that thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion 
For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. I believe God with you today that your time has come. Your time for favor, your time for honor, your time for promotion, your time for lifting, your time for empowerment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In case you hear the word wonders without number, what is the word of God saying? In Job chapter 9, verse 10, the Bible says, Do it things past finding out. Yea, wonders without number. God does great things past finding out. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 3, that Jesus showed himself after his passion by many infallible proofs. Many infallible proofs. That's his nature. Proofs are God's nature. Proofs are God's passion. The Bible says in Acts 2, 22, it says, Jesus, a man of anointed of God, amongst you by many signs and wonders, approved of God. So signs and wonders are a seal and a proof of God's approval. Jesus looked at his people many times. He will let them know. In John 14 verse 11, one time they were doubting about him. You know what he said? He said, if you do not believe on that the Father is in me and I am in the Father, believe for the very work's sake. Can we get other translations for that? Can we get other translations? He said, believe in me and I am in, he believe me, believe me, I'm in my father and my father is in me. If you can't believe that, believe what you see. This works. If you cannot believe, let the evidence speak. That's what Jesus was saying. Believe me when I say I'm in the father and the father is in me. If not, believe because of the things I do. Believe in me that I'm in, believe me that I'm in the Father and the Father in, in me. Or else believe for the sake of the works. The works themselves. The manifestations. The evidence is themselves. Believe for the very works sake. Once you believe, he said something happens to you. Look at this. Look at this. Once you believe the works, something happens to you. Verse 12. He said the works that I do shall you do all. Question comes when you open up yourself to believe so whenever you disbelieve you are shortchanged your disbelief does not stop the works from increasing your disbelief puts you it makes you disadvantaged so believe God believe God believe what God is doing on this platform so that you can become a partaker of that same science in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wonders without number is an altar of wonder where people are groomed, drilled, and tutored in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of God. The word of God is our fortitude, is our fortress. To every intent and purpose, we submit ourselves to the culture of the word of God, to the character, the infa infallibility and immutability of his divine counsel. The Bible says by two immutable things, it was impossible. Hebrews 6.18 God for God to lie by two immutable things it was impossible for God to lie first Samuel 15 29 the strength of Israel cannot lie I believe God with you today as you open up your spirit something great is going to happen so if you are watching by television call someone to get tuned with us and tell the person if there is a man to pray there is a God to answer if there is a man to pray there is a God to answer and if you are watching online touch the like button and begin to share the link as we pray we just love the lord we love him so much you have come to demonstrate how much we love him the blood of jesus is our key for deliverance the bible tells us concerning lazarus in john 11 44 it says and he that was bound dead came forth bound and at foot and his faith was bound about with a napkin and let him go don't forget Call somebody if you are watching my television and tell them we are about to pray. And if you are watching online, touch the like button and begin to share the link. Share the link. Share it aggressively. Share it until you share it through. 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 So we are going to pray. He says his hands we are bound. It came bound hand and feet. We're going to pray, Lord, losing my hands, lose my feet. Lose my hands and lose my feet. Lord, lose my hands and lose. You see, your hand speaks of something. In Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10, you say, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. For there's no wisdom or work in the grave that thou goeth. Do it with all thy might. Your hand. God blesses the work of your hand. 
You see, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, in Proverbs, sorry, chapter. He said, it becometh poor that dealeth dealeth with a slack hand. It becometh poor that dealeth. So your hands are bound. Poverty is inevitable. Spiritually, physically, your hands could be free, but in the realm of the spirit, when your hands are bound, when your feet is tied, you are doing everything to advance and move forward, but in the realms of the spirit, you are stuck, you are confined. As a matter of fact, do you know that when a dog is chained, the dog has some level of movement. But the movement of the, of the dog is predetermined by the radius of that chain. It can move around that atmosphere, that circumference. It's predetermined by the chain. So somebody could just be revolving, somebody could be head bound, tied to a spot in the spirit realm, and just be today lose my hands, lose my feet. Lord, in the name of Jesus, lose my hands, lose my feet. Zephaniah chapter 3, I think verse 16. He said, Let not your hands be slack. Let not your hands be slack. Zephaniah 3:16 let not your hands be slack lose my hands lose my feet lose my hands lose my feet lose my hands lose my feet your feet speaks of movement and speed your hands speaks of blessings lose my hands lose my feet lose my hands lose my feet lose my hands lose my feet Lose my hands, lose my feet. Lose my hands, lose my feet. Lord, lose my hands, lose my feet. Lord, lose my hands, lose my feet. You are going to write it down on every platform. Write it aggressively as your prayer project, your prayer point. Lord, lose my hands, lose my feet. Write it now, write it now in the name of Jesus. Write it now. Lord, lose my hands. Lose my feet, number one. Lord, lose my hands, lose my feet. Shout again. Lord, lose my hands, lose my feet. 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 Again. Lord, lose my Lose my hands, lose my feet. Lord, 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 lose Yeah, 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 yeah
But this problem with the spine, the spine is terrible. It's a serious problem with the spine. They've done everything. You've taken everything, done every, everything humanly possible. But it's still there. It dies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, miracles are happening. I don't know if somebody has a respiratory problem. God is healing you. Problem with the lungs. God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing somebody and they're talking about a kidney transplant. The Lord God says a creative miracle is happening to you. God is giving you brand new kidneys in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Send me a video testimony today. I want to see you. I want to see what God is doing in your life. Send me a video testimony now. I want to see what God is doing in your life. We're still praying. Touch the like button and begin to share. Somebody say, my time has come. My, my time, time has come. Say, my time has come. My, my time, time has come. Say, my time has come. My time has come. Say, my time has come. My time has come. Say, my time has come. My time has come. If there's a man to pray, there's a call to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a call to answer. I like it told Matthew, I said in, in John chapter 11, verse 21, he said, Matt, then said Matt unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother will not have died. Verse 22, but I, I know that even now, whatsoever God, that we ask of God, they will give it thee. But this is my emphasis, verse 23. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. I want to speak to your family. Your family shall rise again. That's our prayer. My family. He said, he said your brother. I don't know what is happening now. I don't know what the enemy has done. But this is our prayer. My family shall rise again. I don't know where your brother is, where your sister is, the location where your siblings reside. But this is a word from God, an assurance unto you that your family shall rise again. I give you this counsel. When you are done praying this prayer now, in the next 12 hours, thereabout, if you could pray it again, my family, something will happen. Because for a family to rise, a strong man must go down. For a family to rise, a principality must be laid to rest. For you to have rest and peace, something must rest in peace. My family shall rise again. Say, my father, my father. My, my father, my father. father. Shout it loud and clear. My, my father, father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. My family shall rise again. 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 
again. My family shall rise 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 Da 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 da
Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your family shall rise again. Your sister shall rise again. Your brother shall rise again. Your sibling shall rise again. Your spouse shall rise again. Your children shall rise again. I pray for your family. Every gang of every satanic onslaught against your family. Today I render it null and void. I decree it shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Let God arise in your family. Let the enemies be scattered in the realms of the spirit. Parents, your children, I decree this one with them. They shall increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I speak the grace of God. I speak the glory of God. I speak the strength of God. I see the force of God. I speak the wind of the spirit. To blow over your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. An engineer is having problems. The problem is affecting the mind. Almost like an insanity case. And the presence is an engineer. The power of God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing somebody living in the house. The house is number 17. The house is number 17. I see witchcraft oppression on you. Today, that yoke of witchcraft is destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Just I T I T letter I and letter T. These are your initials. You have found yourself in a situation you know nothing about. God is going to vindicate you and bring you out. And there's somebody as I see in the realms of the spirit. As it were, you are groping in the dark. You need direction. I decree that God gives you direction today. This is a direction between people. Between this and this, who do I get married to? You're confused. I decree direction given to you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray for Lawrence. The Lord said I should pray for Lawrence. The hand of God is coming upon you to fulfill the counsel. You have something to do with Dubai. You have United Arab Emirates. The Lord says I should tell you help is coming. Help is coming to you. Help is coming. I use this to pray for everyone in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, wherever you are. And I speak help in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
I speak a blessing upon you. Wherever you are in Asia, in America, in London, in the UK, in Europe, in the Middle East, in the Caribbean, in the Bahama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If you are sick in body, put your left hand on the spot si malade, and stretch grosse, your hand towards me. I speak healing to your body, la dans votre corps, healing to your bones, la dans vos healing, os, healing to your mind, la dans votre healing pensée, to your veins. La dans in vos Jesus' os, mighty name. Amen. Jesus. The Lord bless you and the Lord heal you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's take our offerings. Your offerings are blessed. And we speak the hand of the Lord upon you. Don't forget the Bible tells us that. We should not come into God's presence. Into the presence of Amen. Amen. I decree that your time has come. Amen. Amen. The time for your turnaround, the time for your song. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I believe God with you today as we pray, the heavens will open perpetually. Jesus was the Son of God, but the heavens didn't open because he was the Son of God. In Luke chapter 3, the Bible says, And Jesus being baptized and praying. The heavens open so the heavens opened unto him because he prayed and if there is a man to pray there is a god to answer god can do all things but god will do nothing unless a man prays god can do all things but god will do nothing unless a man prays and i believe god with you today as we pray the heavens will open and god will grant your desires welcome to wonders without number my time has come Amen. Amen. what is wonders without number Wonders without number is an altar of wonders where people are groomed, drilled, tutored in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of God. The disciples said in Acts chapter 6 verse 4, we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayers. We will give ourselves a gift. Prayer is a discipline. You give yourself to it and what we see in this platform is that as people give themselves to prayer there's a release of intimacy there's proximity they get intermingled intertwined with the spirit of god we see lives change people saying their spiritual life has taken a new shape everything about them is turning around why because we expose people to prayer so get ready right now because if there is a man to pray yes, there is a god to answer if there's a man to pray yes, there is a god to answer so get ready for what god is about to do and call somebody if you are watching by television and tell them wonders without number is on the air but if you are watching online touch the like button and begin to share the link share until you share through and the hand of the lord will come mightily upon you in the name of jesus christ amen i believe god with you today a miracle will happen we are the generation that believes that um, there is shortcut to everything a generation that believes that you can be logical about everything you go on social media you want to download informations you don't struggle anymore just go there it's there waiting for you ebooks you go there you see books online no matter the title there is e everything but there's no e holy ghost you can't download the holy ghost from the internet you've got to pray him down you've got to have intimacy but the generation believes that we can fit everything we can just be logical no you've got to pray you have to pray now we're going to discuss something and then we'll pray one of the issues that bear us from god's presence is sin he said god is of purer eyes than to behold iniquity and he says in psalm 66 18 if i regard iniquity in my heart the lord will not hear me so when sin is in your heart sin puts you at par sin separates you from god as Isaiah chapter 59 from his one it tells us that god's hand is not shut and cannot save his ears not heavy cannot hear but your iniquity has separated you from god proverbs 14 34 the lord begins to admonish us that righteousness is us a nation but sin is a reproach to any people so god wants us to live holy but the problem of sin is what the lord wants us to deal with why do people sin why do people sin we see that in james chapter 1 verse 14 every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed then when lust has conceived thought when lust thought sin and when 
and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. So people become victims of sin because of the yoke of lust. There are people, their loss is after material things. They have this lust for, for, for money. Some loss for power. Any sin you are a victim of is because the loss of that iniquity has overwhelmed you. There are people that become so, so overwhelmed and addicted to mundane, material, transcend and ephemeral things that they will lose and live one day in this world. We're going to pray, Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Lust for money, lust for power, lust for fame, competition, personality concept. I want to be I want to be heard. It has to be me. It must be me. Competition, pride, all of this around that circumference of the yoke of lust. Lord, deliver me. Everyone, look at Eve. How did he fall? The Bible tells us about the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Eve was a victim of these three things in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. In Genesis 3 verse 6, the Bible says when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, flesh. Was good for food, the lust of the flesh. Pleasant to the eyes, lust of the eyes. Desire to make one wise, pride of life. Good for food, lust of the flesh. Some have the loss for anything. They will do anything to survive. They don't care whose ox is God. Lost of the flesh. You can never be a member of church. You can be a pastor. But when it comes to meeting your needs, you can't even go outside of God. You can lie. You can manipulate because of the lust of the flesh. So, a tree pleasant to the eyes, lust of the eyes a tree desire to make one wise, pride of life we see the catchment of these three elements in the life of Eve, so she became a victim of sin, Lord in my life, destroy the yoke of lust, I'm telling you what it is. God does not tempt nobody, when you handle the yoke of lust in that department of iniquity that has overwhelmed your life you pray against it and you watch carefully you walk out of it. Deliver me from the yoke of lust. In my life, rather, destroy the yoke of lust. In my life, destroy the yoke of lust. In my life, destroy the yoke of lust. In my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Abraham fell into, into that, that trap because he wanted to save his life. So he lied. That's the lust of the flesh. He lied. In my life, destroy the yoke of lust. You are going to write that down on your platforms, all your platforms. Write it down. Go to the comment section. Write it down. In Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Lord, in my life, I know you have been in church for a long while, but this is the reason. You become so prayerless because you are, you are now getting attracted to mundane things. You can spend much time watching a movie. But when it comes to watching a Christian program, you slip off. Come to listen to a message, you, are, you just slip off. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. We're going to pray and we're going to say it loud and clear. Number one. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. I can hear you. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. Again. Lord, in my life, destroy the yoke of lust. 
look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss. Lord, in my life, destroy the look of loss.
of loss is destroyed permanently in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree that the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, their hold is broken from your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That you become free and begin to walk in purity and intimacy with God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm seeing somebody who is a singer but you are addicted to smoking and alcohol. You are a, a gospel artist. Jesus says that that addiction is broken. Right now. You see that and you are going to start getting irritated. You are going to hate alcohol from now. You are going to hate smoking from now. You see yourself hating those things. That you were once imprisoned with. The yoke is destroyed. It's broken, destroyed, shattered by the power of the James 4 verse 7. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Somebody say, My time has come. 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 My time for testimony has come. My time for testimony has come. My time for breakthroughs have come. My time for breakthroughs has come. My time for a new beginning has come. My time for a new beginning has come. James chapter 4 and verse 7. Submit yourself therefore unto God. Touch the like button and share the link right now. Don't forget. Touch that like button and share the link. Submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil. And you flee. The instruction is submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. If you want the devil to flee from your business, flee from your home, flee from your health. There is something that attracts the devil to people. Jesus speaking in John 14, 30, he said, The prince of this world cometh, and he has nothing in me. We're going to pray, Lord, I submit myself to you, and I resist the devil. I submit myself to you, and I resist the devil. I submit myself to you, Lord, I submit myself to you, and I resist the devil. When you engage that, Satan flees. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it louder than that. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Lord, I submit myself to you. Lord, I submit myself to you. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. Lord, I submit myself to you. Lord, I submit myself to you. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. I submit myself to you. Lord, I submit myself to you. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. Lord, I submit myself to you. Lord, I submit myself to you. I resist the devil. I submit myself to you. I resist the devil. 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 Yeah. 
Connect your faith to my faith. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree today that as you submit yourself, you resist the devil. I declare he flees from you and your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I speak the counsel of God over your life. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Enter a new season of elevation, a new season of lifting. A lady is holding a divorce letter was given to you by your husband you're crying 
the Lord said, don't cry. The king's heart is the palm of the Lord. And as the rivers and waters, rivers of waters, it turneth it whithersoever it wills. I decree that divorce is withdrawn. He will call you, we apologize to you. Peace in your home. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody has gotten everything for a wedding and suddenly they are calling it off. I don't know what happened. But the Lord says. The Lord said to tell you that the wedding we hold. I see another young couple or intended couple who just had a problem with their genotype. Genotype. You are a carrier, you are a carrier. But the Lord is saying right now from ASAS to AA in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Everyone who has a child that is a carrier, that is a sickler, I speak that their genotype, their blood will be changed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I decree enter a season of rest. 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 Financial rest. Marital rest. Material rest. Rest in your health. Career rest. Professional rest. Enter a rest. Enter ministerial rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Charles. I see God giving you a remembrance and honor in the very place where you have been rejected, insulted, and relegated. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see somebody called Duncan. I'm hearing a name like Nati. Duncan Nati. The Lord said I should let you know that He God is going to announce you. I'm saying you're married, but it's as though your wife is the one sustaining the family. The Lord said I should tell you that the tide will turn. He will still bless her, but it's going to help you recover your manliness and he will open your doors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord touch you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand there si malade, and stretch your hand towards me. I rebuke sickness, Je la I rebuke disease, Je I rebuke affliction, Je I rebuke pains from your head to your toes. I cause them to die. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's take our offerings. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Amen. My time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. I am so excited. I give God praise for your life. Somebody said, This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. I'll be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I'm glad in it. I'm glad in it. I believe God. So there's something to make you happy. Which is going to happen. Something to make you excited is going to happen. This is the week that God has made. This is the week that the Lord has made. This is the week of power, a week of grace, a week of influence and honor. And I decree in your life in the name of Jesus, honor will not depart from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I believe God. As we gather to pray today, heaven is going to open. And when heaven opens, earth happens. When heaven opens, earth happens. Something strange happens on the earth when the heavens open. And I believe God today, as the heavens open unto you, the earth is going to happen. Something outstanding, something great, something powerful, something significant, something phenomenal is going to take place and you begin to enjoy the very blessings that God has promised his people. You begin to bask in the euphoria of abundance. It's a prophetic declaration I'm making to you now. And you begin to bask in euphoria of abundance, in the blessings of God, in the prosperity of God. God begins to make your path straight God will anoint your feet and God Almighty will make or anoint your steps with butter. And the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every controversy in your life will cease. Every struggle will cease. Limitations will cease. I speak over your life. I speak over your career. I speak over your family. I speak over your interests. I speak over all that concerns you. You shall go higher and higher, 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 higher and higher. Higher, higher and higher in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe God with you today that as we begin to pray, something will happen. If you are watching on my television, tell somebody now that Wonders Without Numbers on Air on Celebration TV. And if you are watching online, touch the like button and share the link. Share the link 
as much as you can and the Lord's going to bless you. Psalm 102 and verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. What is wonders without wonders? We have people are groomed, tutored, and drilled in the act of praying and getting addicted to the word of God. No matter what you are going through, Jesus was speaking in John 13 verse 7. He said, What I do now, ye know not, but ye shall know hereafter. What I do now, ye know not, but ye shall know hereafter. I mean, what I'm doing now, you have no idea, no inkling to what it is, but after now, you will know. And I decree in the name of Jesus, that which the Lord has begun to do, that which the Lord has started in your life, you will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe God Almighty that it's going to be a great time as we pray today. You know, God loves you so much. You hold a special place in the heart of God. I want you to understand. Your circumstances, your situations, your uh, battles, immaterial, inconsequential. God loves you. Jeremiah 29, 11. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you. God was talking to you specifically. This is your word. To give you an expected end. You will not get an unexpected end. Your end is an expected end. In Psalm 139 verse 17. You see how great are thy thoughts towards me, O God. Great is the sum of them. How precious are thy thoughts towards me, O God. Great is the sum of them. So God loves you. He has you in mind. God has you in mind. He loves you so specially. So don't allow situations make you think less of yourself. And we are going to pray today. I just want you to learn the act of praying. Learn the act of spending time with God. Loving God. So what we see on this platform, in this family, is that people just get into the place of prayer and get addicted to the word of God, which coordinatively yields results in their work with God and increases their love, their capacity and intensity of their love with God. I declare in the name of Jesus that the passion for God, the passion for his word will come upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Satan! The blood of Jesus is against you. Satan! The blood of Jesus is against you. When you see an attack, Listen to me. Your child, you stumble on your child. Your child is convulsing. You stumble on your husband. There's an attack. You don't panic. Look at that attack and say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. It will stop. You see a sudden attack on your body. Lay hands on that spot. Say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. When Satan hears the blood, the blood reminds him of his defeat. The blood reminds him of when he was stripped naked publicly. When he was made publicly powerless. So next time there's an impending attack. When the feet of retreat in surrender, you look and say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. And when the devil sees and hears that, he knows you are speaking from a vantage position of knowledge. You are speaking from a position of information and revelations. He has no choice than to bow. In the name of Jesus. Your stolen virtues. 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 Your stolen honor. Your stolen dignity. All that was stolen from you by reason of the blood of Jesus. All that was taken from your life by the blood of Jesus. All that was taken from you right now by the blood of Jesus. Be restored. 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 Whatever was taken from your family. Family. Take it from your investment. You suddenly discover that things are just going down. There is this monumental attack. It's so serious. Left, right, and center. Attacks everywhere. You look at your life. There's no progress. Nothing is going on. Because a force is sitting on you. Because a power has held you and pinned you to the ground. I speak to that power prophetically. I'm making this prophetic declaration. I speak to that power that has pinned you down, pinned your wife, pinned your children. And there has not been a testimony in your home for a long time. Nobody has ever had a testimony for the past one year, the past two years. The status quo has remained. That power that has made it so, that has said your family will not celebrate, that has said you will not advance. I speak to that power. Catch fire. Catch fire. 
fire, catch 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 fire, the prodigal son asked his father a question. He spoke to him in Luke chapter 15 verse 12. Give me the portion that falleth to me. I have no problem with the prodigal son for placing a demand on that which belongs to him. I have no problem with him at all for placing a demand on that which belongs to him. But I have a problem with those enjoying themselves too. I have a problem in his waste culture. I have no problem that I place a demand. He said, give me. There's a portion that belongs to me. On earth, there's a portion. God give every man power to take his portion. Power. The power of intercession to take your portion. Ecclesiastes 5.19. Power to take your portion. And the Bible speaking in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 9. Say the profit of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the feet. There is your portion. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. There is something in that location where you are. There's, there's a portion for you. You are a stakeholder in that nation. In the realms of the spirit, you are a stakeholder. In the realms of the spirit, in the world of finance, there is a portion for you. Maritally, materially, spiritually, socially, status wise, ministerially, there's a portion. Give me my portion in this life. 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 Give me my portion. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion. We are going to cry to heaven. I'm telling as you are praying, something will drop. I'm telling you today. As you are praying, something will drop. A breakthrough will drop. A testimony will drop. A miracle will be effected. A breakthrough will be effected. Something is going to happen. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. We are going to say that. Write it down. Write it. Please write it fast. Let it be a written prophecy. On your page. On the comment section. Your WhatsApp store, everywhere, write it. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. Give me my portion in this life. You say that, say that, and you roar in prayer. And the anointing of God, the blessed Holy Spirit, the anointing of the sweet Holy Spirit is going to rest upon you and begin to give you your portion in life and in destiny. In life, give me my passion in this life. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. Give me my passion in this life. Number one, give me my passion in this life. Again, 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 give me my portion in this life again 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 Yeah, 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 yeah
say to tell you 84 people good news is coming 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 in the name of Jesus God is saying there are people under the sound of my voice from January up until now you have not had any reason to testify he said I should say that this week a testimony that will shock your world will matter that will shock your generation that will shock your peers that will shock your colleagues in the office that will shock everyone around you manifest manifest in the name of jesus yes. Amen. you are still praying if there is a man to pray there, there is a god, god to answer if there's a man to pray there is a god to answer if there's a man to pray there is a god to answer if there's a man to pray there is a god to answer look at what it says in verse 23 i know you love the word of god i tell people i don't have any other strength i believe if god says it it is settled i believe in the efficacy and the potency of the word of god in verse 23 of Luke 15 still and bring hither the fatted calf kill it let us eat and be merry that celebration spirit of celebration manifest in my life spirit of celebration manifest in my life spirit of celebration man spirit of celebration spirit of celebration spirit of celebration spirit of celebration that you move from one celebration to another celebration your life before you finish one good news another good news is coming before you finish uh, uh, celebrating the wedding of your sister your brother has gotten a job while you are talking about your brother's job your document is released take it in the name of jesus Amen. Amen. take it in the name of jesus Amen. spirit of, cel of celebration manifest in my life we are going to pray right now touch the like button begin to share the link spirit of celebration manifest in my life say my father my father, my my father, father, my father. father. shout it louder than that my, my father, father my father. father shout it at the top of your voice my, my father, father, my father. father in the name of jesus in the name, name of jesus. jesus as i begin to pray as i begin to pray spirit of celebration spirit of celebration manifest in my life manifest in my life spirit of celebration spirit of celebration manifest in my life manifest 
manifesting my life. Spirit of celebration. 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 Manifest in my life. 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 Spirit of celebration. Spirit of celebration. Spirit of celebration. Spirit of celebration. Manifest in my life. Manifest in my life. Open your mouth and fire your prayer. By the anointing of God, receive your portion in this life. Receive your portion in this life. Receive your portion in this life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Vivian. 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 The Lord is putting an end to your battles, Vivian. The Lord is putting an end to your battles. And I decree right now that the mountains be removed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 
I hear a name like Humphrey, Humphrey Fine Boy. That's a name, Humphrey Fine Boy. It's a name. The Lord is showing me. And he said, You got out of school, you graduated, and you kept now. It's for a long time, and you can't find it. Yeah, you kept it. Jobs have come your way, but you can't find your certificate. You search everywhere, you can't find it. There's a bag you keep your school credentials, everything about your academics. That's where you kept it, you can't find it. The powers of air took it. But right now, wherever it was taken to, I command it to manifest physically. Go back there, go and check it. Manifest! 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 Go and check it. And for other people who kept things and can't find them anymore, go back and check them. The very place you checked before, you will see them there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I sent a Jofo. There is a strange demonic attack you are going through. Especially when it gets to the month of August. All your finances begin to go down the drain. Your finances go down the drain. That is of Jesus. Amen. When Mimo, the Lord is removing the cobwebs on your face. That thing that covers your glory and everyone going through such experience, let that cobwebs catch fire, 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 catch fire. Everyone experiencing cobwebs attack on your face, on any part of your body. Catch fire, 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 catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect the good of this life that is a portion to you is released now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of celebration manifest in your life. Manifest in your life. Manifest in the life of your children. Manifest in the life of your spouse. Manifest in your business. Manifest in your career. Manifest in all you lay your hands to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am an assume. Cancellation. So much. So much death cancellation this week. This week. This week, death cancellations. This week, death cancellation, death cancellations. My God, this is a good time to sow a seed. If you are be believing God for death cancellation, now do it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's take our offerings. I want you to give. And those of you, Amen. your time has come. Amen. Our time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. Your family's time for testimony has come. Amen. Somebody say, This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the season. This is the season. The Lord has made. The Lord has made. I will rejoice. 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 I'm the glad in it. I'm the glad in it. Welcome. I want you to believe God today as we begin to pray. Something great is going to happen in your life. God is stressed out his hand to heal, to work miracles. He stretched out his hand to do great wonders amongst us. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 3, he says he showed himself after his passion by many infallible proofs. And in Acts chapter 2 verse 22, Jesus a man approved of God among you by many signs and wonders and miracles which he did among the people. I believe God today that miracles will take place in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I love the word of God. Jesus said in John 3 verse 14, he said, even as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. John chapter 12 verse 32, and if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. We are going to lift him up today in our prayer, and we believe God will draw favor, draw help, draw lifting towards you. And you're going to enjoy the blessings that God has commanded. Be lifted high. Be lifted high, high, oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are holy, righteous, and worthy, oh Be lifted high, be lifted high.
righteous and oh, oh, dear, oh Lord, believe that I believe that Somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If you are watching right now by television, I want you to, to just call somebody and tell them, one that's without number is on the air on Celebration TV. And they're watching online, touch the like button and begin to share the link. And I believe God today, as you touch the button, share the link, something great is going to happen in your life. One that's without number is a prayer platform an altar of wonders where people are groomed two thoughts schooled and drilled in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of god there is power in the word of god jeremiah 23 29 is not my word like a fire and like a hammer that break the rock in pieces. Hebrews 4, 12, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of the souls and of the soul and spirit of the joints and marrows, and is a descent of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Colossians 3, 16, let the word of God dwell richly in you. Acts 19, 20, he says, so grew mightily the word of God and prevailed. Acts 20, 32, I commend you to God and the word of his grace that is able to build you and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Isaiah 40, verse 8, where the word of a king is, there is power and who can say, what doest thou? As that 40 verse 8, the grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God stands forever. Isaiah 40 and verse 8. The Bible says very clearly, Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4, we are the word of a king is, there is power, and who can say what doeth thou? Matthew 24, 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away away there is power in the word of god proverbs 13 13 he that despises the word shall be 
destroyed. He that despises the word shall be destroyed. Job 23 verse 12, I've esteemed thy word than my necessary food. I've esteemed that there is power in the words of God. Yesterday, any time you see any form of attack, anytime you sense an attack of the enemy, don't be afraid, be armed. You are already, if you're a member of this family, you are armed. There is a mark on your head. I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't matter what comes your way, you will overcome. You will see the end of it. My life should be a testimony to you. You will see the end of your battles. They will see your end. It doesn't matter the intensity. Let hell break loose. I have seen hell broken loose on me. The kingdoms of witchcraft, the marine, have broken loose. I see their end. You will see their end. I say you will see their end. Amen. It doesn't matter the gang up of hell. You will see their end in the name of Jesus. Amen. So what I want you to do is when you see that attack, don't be afraid. Say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Hold that your child that's convulsing. Somebody suddenly slop in the office. Others are panicking. Trying to call the doctor. Trying to call the ambulance. You go there and say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Your wife said, I don't understand the way my pregnancy is like the baby is not kicking. Say, the baby is kicking. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Don't let the devil toy with you. He said, these are people robbed. These are a people robbed. They are snared. They are hid in prison houses. He said, they are for a prey and none yet restore. So I'm going to pray right now and I believe God to grant your desires in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will grant your desires in the name of Jesus. Amen. Touch the like button and begin to share. John chapter 12 verse 26. Jesus said, if any man serve me, let him follow me. Where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. The climax of service is honor. Honor. When you follow this God and you serve him in spirit and truth, he honors you. Joshua chapter 4 verse 14. He said, and the Lord magnified Joshua that day in the sight of all Israel. God magnified him. God honored him. Elevated him. I'm praying for you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I make this prophetic declaration. God shall magnify you before men. You shall be elevated. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 30 He that honoreth me I will honor And he that despiseth me shall be lightly esteemed Because you have honored the Lord in the place of prayer As you are praying and calling upon him today It's a sign of honor He said he that honoreth me I will honor As you worship the Lord in spirit and in truth As you sow your seeds And you, you live in righteousness you, you are addicted to the word of God You are a worker in God's house You are a minister who has heard the call of God you are poor the tenants of Christianity in any way, you, any face that you find yourself. The academic world, the medical world, the political circle. Anywhere you find yourself, you are poor the tenants of Christ. He says, my father will honor you. My father will honor you. He will my father honor. Oh God, my father, honor me. Oh God, my father, honor me. He will my father honor. Oh God, my Father, honor me. Honor is a realm and a level of due regard. Is to be regarded, to be esteemed. Him will my Father honor. Oh God, my Father, honor me. Oh God, my Father, honor me. Oh God, my Father, honor me. 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 Can we add our family? Oh God, my Father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my Father. Ah, hey, I see God giving somebody a house. A house. God said, your house, take the house. You have been battling for the house, take the house. Houses are released this morning. But what about time zone? Houses are released. Take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, I like this. I like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
The Lord said, I should tell you that is the, today, and this is a season of properties office property, family property, church property, church land, church building, house building, your building, estates. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, honor me. 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 Write it, honor me and my family. Honor me and my family. Write it on your page. Write it on the comment box. Write it everywhere on your WhatsApp story. Let it become a written testimony. Let it become a written testimony. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number one, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number two, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number three, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number four, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number five, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number six, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number seven, oh God, my father, honor me and my family. Number eight, oh God, my father. Honor me and my family. Number nine. Oh God, my father. Honor me and my family. Oh God, my father. Honor me and my family. Da 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 da
I prophesy, I prophesy, with this mouth that I used to pray, I prophesy, in the name of Jesus, your family, you and your family, this season, step into honor, 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 your daughter and your son and your spouse and your job, maritally, materially, in your life, spiritually, ministerially, professionally, career-wise, status-wise, step into honor, 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 in the name of Jesus! Amen! Touch the like button and begin to share the link. Share the link right now. In John chapter 12, Verse 19. I'm telling you, this is a serious one. The Pharisees therefore said amongst themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is after him. Perceive! You've done everything to, to, to track him. You've done everything to silence him. He said, do you discover you're prevailing nothing? All your efforts. In my life, my enemies shall prevail nothing. Lord, in my life, my enemies shall prevail nothing. You know, one thing I do all the time, I take the word of God in my closet, I pick scriptures, I start praying scriptures into my life. Because nothing is as efficacious as the word of God. This is the only thing that is tried seven times. The word of God, not your word. Not the word of man. Not what anybody is saying. Know what the government is. You know what your enemies are saying. This is what has been tried seven times. So what you do is you pray the word of God into your life over your family. In my life, my enemies shall prevail nothing. They were saying, look at everything. You've conspired. Campaign of calumny. Name calling. Attack. Verbal, physical. They tried to stop the ministry of Christ. Like he brought back Lazarus from the dead. They came back 
intending to kill Lazarus, send him back because the evidence was too overwhelming. It made them ashamed. It made them ashamed. So guess what the Bible says? These Pharisees began to discuss among them. They said, we prevail nothing. The world is gone after him. Everyone has believed in him. In my life, may my enemies prevail nothing. May all they do be frustrated. Isaiah chapter 8 from verse uh, 19. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. I and the children that the Lord has given to me they are for signs and wonders. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 9 and 10. He says, associate yourself for you people. You shall be broken to pieces. Speak the word. They shall not stand for God is with us. Speak the word. Take counsel together like that. Take counsel together. Conspire. He says, I've created the smith that blows the coals into the fire. I've created the waster. Isaiah 54 verse 16. I've created the waster to destroy. I've created the smith that blows the coals in the fire. I've created the waster to destroy. 17. No weapon. From the gates they shall prosper. But every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. We're going to pray right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at that. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive how ye prevail nothing. Behold, the world is going to, in my life, may my enemies prevail nothing. In my life and family, may my enemies prevail nothing. In my life, concerning my children, concerning my spouse, concerning my job, concerning my interest, in all I do, in all the Lord has sent me to do, in my life and family, may my enemies prevail nothing. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, shout it louder than that. My father, my father, shout it at the top of your voice. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. As I begin to pray, pray in my life and family, in my, my, life life and family. family. my enemies prevent nothing. My my enemies enemies prevent nothing. nothing. In my life and family, in my, in my life and family. family, in my life and family, in my, in my life and family. family, in my enemies prevent nothing. In my Yeah. 
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. May the Lord arise and honor you and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord arise and honor you and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. This season I pray for you. I pray for your family. The door of honor is opened unto you. It's 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 opened unto you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The garment of reproach that the enemy has worn you, the garment of reproach that has covered your life, I decree that garment is not your size. And I speak with this mouth that I used to pray. I speak to that garment with this mouth that I used to pray. I command that garment. Catch fire! 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 In the name of Jesus. And I decree in your life and concerning your matters, may your enemies prevail nothing. May all they do hit a brick wall. May they grow up with darkness as the, new, as the noon day. The Bible says, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. It disappointed the vices of the crafty, so their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Every device of the crafty, every device of the manipulators and the deceptive around your life, the courts and gangs up of hell, I decree God shall disappoint them. Lord, 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 disappoint them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Magdalene, your lungs are released. Your lungs. There's a lady, you're a, you a nurse. And you're about to get into serious troubles because of an allegation levied on you. The Lord says he's standing as your attorney and as your defense counsel to avert, to reverse the intention and expectations of the wicked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's a woman, the Lord says, who has two kids. One of them is mad. One has gone to the streets raving mad. I decree his senses restore. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tongo Shile. Tongo Shile. Tongo Shile. I see God bring you out of a witchcraft pot. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are 72 people. I don't know what kind of crown this is. Whether it's financial crown, but it's positive. It's royalty. God is putting a crown on your head. He said you shall be celebrated. The crown of power. The crown of grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Robert, your wife left you. And is currently fighting you. The Lord said, I should tell you, is bringing restoration. That he will make you happy again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray for you. You will never go down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, place your left hand on the spot. Si and stretch your hand towards me. Et main vers moi. I command sickness. Je la maladie, disease. Les pain. Et les douleurs, Someone has had a waste affliction. It's an infection. À la taille, it's an infection. Une infection that has caused a waste, serious waste problem. Les Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. De Jésus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Pied. Receive your healing. Receive la guérison. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Get enough. Amen. My time has come. Amen. My time has come. Amen. I believe God with you that your time has come. Say this is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. This is the season. This is the season. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. In it. I'll be glad in it. This is the season. This is the season that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. I'll be glad in it. This is the season. This is the season. This is the season. This is the season that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. I'll be glad in it. Welcome. Wonders with a number is an altar of wonders where people are groomed, tutored, and drilled, and cooked and baked grilled in the act of praying and falling in love with the word of god jeremiah 23 29 is not my word like a fire but like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces there is power in the word of god psalm 107 verse 20 is sent his word and it's what delivered them it's what healed them and delivered them from their destruction there is power in the word of god i want you to believe god today as we begin to pray the lines will fall to you in pleasant places i believe god with you as we gather to pray by the power of the holy spirit anything that has had you bound whatever has, has been infused imputed into you by the orchestrations of wickedness by the power of god as we pray it will come out of your body it will come out of your system it will come out of your home i make a declaration over your children i make a declaration over your spouse i make a declaration over your finances i make a declaration over all that concerns you by the power of the holy ghost you will shine 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 i declare you unstoppable indomitable indefatigable i decree by the power of the holy ghost anything called reproach is out of your life in the name of jesus Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. as you join us to pray today not only will you be spiritually lifted or spiritually edified every financial blessing every material blessing that you've cried and yearned for wherever you are watching or hearing me from i decree these blessings come to you 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 in the name of jesus amen in first samuel chapter 3 verse 11 god said concerning samuel he says samuel i will do a work in israel that every year that year it, it shall tingle something that will blow the minds of people i decree by the force of grace by the power of the holy ghost a miracle that will tingle the ears of the your generation a miracle that will tingle the ears of the years may it happen in your life in the name of jesus amen. may it happen in your life in the name of jesus amen. Amen. Release the mighty power of God. I release the mighty grace of God. A porata patila, a pekuta pirata, a zugete baranto, barusha dagabande, porakatize, o paramanta, a kutapa, a kutapa. I pray for you now. As you hear the sound of my voice, reproach is gone, struggle is gone, delay is gone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Told you, I said, when you see an attack or you sense an attack, maybe bodily, maybe in your office, your surrounding, anywhere you sense any form of attack, do not shut your mouth. Do not allow any trace of fear cross through the fabrics of your mind. Open your mouth and release. Say, Satan, the 
blood of Jesus is against you. Satan will be on the run because the blood reminds him of his defeat. The blood reminds him of his embarrassment. Satan is the author of shame, but he hates shame. Satan is the promulgator of shame, but he hates shame. Satan is the author of reproach, but he hates to be reproached. And I decree in the name of Jesus, he shall be reproached in your life. Yes. Satan will be reproached in your family. Yes. Satan will see reproach in your life. Yes. If you are watching by television, I want you to call somebody to get seated with you or to just move around and pray with you. Celebration TV, one that's without number is on the air. But if you are watching online, touch the like button and begin to share the link. Share to as much people as you can share. Because the glory of God is about to hit you. The power of God is about to touch you, right? I don't care what the doctor told you. Doctor told you there is a sickness in your body, in your blood, your bones, your tendons, your tissues, your ligaments, your sinews, your joints, your marrows. I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever the doctors told you, I don't care to know, but I decree today, you shall see the power of God. Amen. Today, you shall see the power of God. Amen. Today, you shall see the power of God. Amen. The hand of God will touch you. The power of God will touch you. The force of God will touch you. The grace of God will touch you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You become a partaker of the very grace and presence of God. Of the very power of the Holy Spirit. You become a partaker of the very presence and power of God. A cooperator fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So touch the like button and begin to share the link because this is what we do. We pray. We pray. We pray. We pray. We call upon God. We look up to him and our faces are lighting and we are not ashamed. So right now we we'll continue in scripture. Our duty and our assignment, our pattern is that we pray scriptures. We pray the word. We pray the word. We pray the word. We pray the word of God into our lives. We become living epistles of this very word. So the Bible tells us that there is power in prayers and there is power in the word of God. So get set now as we begin to pray. Touch the like button and share the link. The Bible says in the book of Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 66. Lamentation 3, 66. Persecute and destroy them in anger from under the heavens of the Lord. Persecute and destroy them in anger. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Lord, persecute my adversaries in your anger. Lord, persecute my adversaries in your anger. Lord, persecute. Well, what happened to Pharaoh was God persecuting him in his anger. The wheels of his chariot, God removed them. That's a miserable way to kill a man. God removed all the wheels of his chariot in the sea. He and all the strong men, God removed the wheels of their chariots. He killed his firstborn. That was persecution in anger. Let the anger of God fall on them. Those that have taken your life as a project out of jealousy and envy. Those that have seen ahead what the, the counsel of God for your life and decided to frustrate it, whether through their talisman, the talisman, their crystal ball, or the necromancer, stargazers, astrologers that have circumferenced themselves over the affairs and matters of your life and said you won't rest. Persecute them, Lord, in your anger. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Persecute my adversaries. Write that down. Write it on your platform. Write it on your page. Write it on your whatever, the comment section, the WhatsApp story. Write it. Let it be a written testimony. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Persecute in your anger. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. You will pray that prayer loud and clear. Number one. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Shout it louder. Shout it louder. Persecute my adversaries in your anger. Again. 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 
Jesus. Amen. Say, Father. Father. All my adversaries. All my adversaries. All my adversaries. All my adversaries. Persecute them in your anger. 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 All my adversaries. All my adversaries. All the adversaries of my family members. All the adversaries of my family members. Adversaries of my children. Adversaries of my children. Persecute them in your anger. 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 In the name of Jesus. There is a couple, you live in the house, and these neighbors that live in the same house with you have suddenly made you a project of attack. They attack your children, they attack you. Even at night, there's so much pressure, and you don't have the funds to pack out or relocate. In the name of Jesus, it is the wicked that will pack out for you. I command the force and the power of witchcraft, be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In that office where they oppress you, where they afflict you, I decree God Almighty will intervene and prove that is your God. May their oppressions and their manipulations, their maneuverings be silenced forthwith, be, be, be terminated now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. We are taking a second prayer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Lamentation chapter 4. Verse 1. It says, How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on the top of every street. Gold, an ornament of value, suddenly has become dim. The stone, the precious stones of value. That's supposed to be meant for the sanctuary. It's not poured on every street. There are many people today, the enemy has attacked their value. Attacked their importance. Every power assigned to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power assigned to diminish my value. Only Esau had the venison. But Jacob went out brought what looked like the to diminish the value there are people who god gives you a business idea you run with it and these people start the same kind of business and become antagonistic of what you are selling just to diminish your value what gave you pride and gave you honor someone becomes a substitute an alternative to your value it's good for people to spread but not at the expense of other people it's good for people to expand, but not for someone else to be shortchanged. Every power assigned to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power assigned to diminish my value. Our gold has become dim. The gold changed. Stones in the sanctuary are poured out on every street. Every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you every power assigned to diminish my value the blood of jesus is against you say my father my father my father my father shouting louder than that my father my father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as i begin to pray as i begin to pray every power assigned every power assigned to diminish 
diminish my value. To diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every power aside. Every power aside. To diminish my value. To diminish my value. The blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus is against you. Is against you. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Every power, every power assigned, assigned to diminish my value, to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against me. 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 Every power, every power, every power, every power, every power, every power assigned, assigned to diminish my value, to diminish my value. The blood of Jesus is against me. The blood of Jesus is against me. The blood of Jesus is against me. Let's 
Jesus is against them. I decree today that your value is hereby enhanced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree you will stand out and miss your peers. Is it because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity? Yet for God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Above thy fellows. I decree in business, above thy fellows. Marriage, above thy fellows. In the academia, above thy fellows. In your profession, above your fellow. In your career, above your fellows. In ministry, above your fellows. In the world of finances, above your fellows. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Something will happen that will restore your honor. Something will happen in that office that will restore your dignity. Something will happen in that home, that marriage that will restore your value. That the very man that looked down on you, suddenly affection has left his heart towards you. By reason of what the Holy Spirit will do, there's a restoration of affection and value in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. A family is about to sit concerning a marriage and this couple is expecting the family to some family members to be sent because of the dissolution of the marriage both of you love each other so much but there's a third party that doesn't want both of you to be together you're busy fighting yourself meanwhile there's a third party who is throwing diabolic uh, mechanism into the homes now both of you are thinking of going apart I cancel the agenda of the witchcraft agent the spell that has been casted into this home I frustrate it I neutralize it I nullify it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. I decree your children's intelligence are restored to them your children's intelligence is hereby restored I decree the counsel of God upon your life the counsel of God upon your home. The counsel of God upon your business. The counsel of God upon your finances. Someone was born lame. I see someone that was born lame, never walked. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There have been softly financial losses. The Lord restore you. I don't know who is Ephraim. I'm seeing you very clearly. You are sitting down. Your hand is on the couch. You are praying. You are the only one left among your mother's children. They've killed everybody. You're the only one left. And you're avoiding home. But yet, where you live located to, the witchcraft attacks are so, in, it's so intense there. I have this word for you, Ephraim. The Lord said to tell you that the killer, whoever has been behind all of this extermination and extinctions, today, the Lord God Almighty, take them out and you fulfill the destiny even of those those that they've killed God will add their destiny to your original destiny and you fulfill it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. it's a lady carrying an overdue pregnancy deliver like the Hebrew women deliver 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. someone by the name of Walter the Lord is showing me there's an expansion coming into your life. An expansion coming into your life. 
receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. Si vous êtes malade, mettez votre main gauche. Yeah, you are hurting, you have the problem. Là, vous avez les symptômes, les problèmes. And stretch your hand towards me. Tendez l'autre main vers moi. I come against infirmity. Je viens contre les infirmités. I come against disease. Je viens contre les maladies. I come against affliction. Je viens contre les afflictions. I come against pain. Je viens contre les douleurs. Bone disorder. Les problèmes des os. Kidney problem. Les problèmes des reins. Stroke. Les paralysies. Myopia. Les problèmes des yeux. Hypermetropia. Tout problème des yeux. Cataract. Les cataracts. Glaucoma. Les glaucoma. Come out in the name of Jesus. Sors le nom de Jésus. I speak healing to your body. La guérison dans votre corps. Be made whole. Soyez guéri. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jésus. Amen. Thank you for joining us in prayer. And may the Lord answer you according to your heart desires. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please do well to hit the like button and also subscribe for more.